I'm back. Did you miss me? Okay, I have to apologize for how long it's taken me to uh, uh, do this. Uh, yeah, it's taken me quite some time. And I, I mean, I don't have that much of an excuse. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, I wrote out the scripts for uh, Intent 1, Intent 2, Brotherhood um, ages ago. I was finished with these. I just uh, didn't record it or make the video, but obviously uh, 2020 was tough for everyone. Um, and uh, plus I had more stuff going on, so it's kind of like taking me some time. But I mean, I guess it's not an excuse. I could have I could have done it. I, I could have done it. I just, I don't know why, okay? I do, I love, a, I do a lot of other stuff, okay? I'm out here, like, making my own films and music and, and, um, looking after my family and stuff, you know? I've got, I've got my own stuff to do. But I appreciate all the enthusiasm. And, guys, I stick to my word. I stick to my promises. And when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it, okay? So I've got the intent one. I've got the intent two. I've got Brotherhood already written up, ready to drop. Now, whether YouTube will allow me to upload those or if I'm going to get what happened to my kiddohood video which I'm still trying to sort out but it's really not working um, I could end up in a situation like that where I can't get them up but I mean they're written and I will record them and I will try and I will hopefully uh, see if they can um, yeah if I can get them up here but now I'm going to do the intent okay so Thank you guys for the support. Thanks for the the requests, uh, for the pushing me. Thanks for your your lovely uh, words and and, and everything. Um, and and the haters, I see you too. I mean, what's all the hate about, man? Come on, man. Nah, I don't care. You can hate. I don't care about your opinion. All right, so let's do this. The intent. Okay, so so the intent uh is is it is a is a is a film or i think it's written by and directed i think it's written and directed by femi oyenaran I, I don't know how to say it's pronounced his name I, I feel like that's how you say it and uh nikki slim Ting. and you know they they've they've come together to to make these uh they've made uh intent one intent two and um it's it's kind of like, it's it's what happens. Like people just make these these hood films, and um, they're all pretty much the same and about the same subject. You know, some some gang and some drugs and some murder and some relationship problems or something like that. It's all it always comes like that. So so after after Femi made it's a lot, which if I find i will i will review if i can find it like i mean i i i think i saw it somewhere to like buy but then i would have bought it like i own a lot of these films that i review like say like kiddohood and adulthood but you know some of them i don't like i, I don't want to buy shank they don't want to contribute to it i don't want to buy like I, like I own 4321, I don't want to buy Intent because I don't really want to contribute to it. But I do, I have paid to see them. Like I saw Intent 2 in the cinema. So like I, I contribute to it that much. But then if you're not going to put the effort in on your end, I ain't going to keep putting the effort in on my end. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so this is the Intent one. Um, So hot off of, I say hot off coming off of really cold slowly maybe most of you haven't even seen this a lot coming off of it's a lot so this would be femi's second film i think that he's he's directed um and this a lot was terrible it was terrible i mean like seriously how can you how can you cast eddie caddy as your dad and he's like only a couple years older than you like what the fuck all right so intent one is uh you know it, it starts scorcher so like you know they they've gone for begin starring uh rappers which is fine you know you, we've got stuff like um top boy and that they've done that and they've done it great 
But then I think sometimes, like, if you are an actor yourself, like, Femi's an actor. Uh, I'm going to say that in quotes. He's an actor. Like, if you're an actor yourself, you, you'd think that you'd, you know, maybe give some some preference to to actors rather than rapper actors because, you know, those are your people. You feel like they should get a chance, but you've gone and done what they was doing a lot in America, like a lot, like giving roles to people like Snoop Dogg and that, that can't act when you've got all these actors out there, like just desperate for it. Um, but you, you've, you've gone and done that yourself. Like imagine if, if Kid Hood, if Noel Clark had casted, um, just all sort of rappers and, and MCs in the, in the, in the roles and people that were famous, instead of just getting you, you unknown actors, then, you know, where would they be today? You know, we should think sometimes, like, yeah, you know, even though Scorsese does fine in the film and that, um, I feel like if we, you know, if you was focusing on people that, like, really wanted to be actors and were trying to be actors, that you'd probably be doing good for your community of actors. But, you know, that's just him. Anyway, you don't want to hear me rambling about this. You want to hear me bait up intent. So I'm going to bait it up, okay? It's good to be back. As a child, I always knew I'd hold a gun one day. Negro, you was holding a gun as a child. My dad had a gun, so it was only right I had a gun. Uh, just because your dad has a gun doesn't mean it's only right that you have one. Your dad also made love to your mum, so... Do you want to do that as well? I knew I'd be around bad people. Who did bad things, people who killed, stole, sold drugs for a living. But your dad is a police officer, right? He's around bad people for a job. It was in my DNA. It was in my blood. Saying DNA and blood is redundant. We understood when you said DNA. My mom always says, people in life are born with the intent. The intent to do what? Why is this guy even the narrator? Yeah, man, you man are just out here shining, doing Come it on, big. Man. You know what we do, man. You've been doing this, my brother. You know me from young, fam. Come on, my bro. Just like in the rap duo, Conan doing all the talking while Crep waits for his verse. Man, do watch cartoons. The way they use close ups, like, say, they only rented half the living room, it's like they went to the location owner, like, um, we uh, we, we want to film here, can we use your living room? And they was like, motherfucker, you can have two sofas and a quarter. And they was like, uh, do, do, can we shoot the uh, other side of the, the living room? Motherfucker, I said you got two sofas and a corner. The way this lady acts when she got shot come like she was in a whole different scene. She just looks like she just got some bad news or something. It's like, oh, oh dear, I've been, I've been shot a little bit. That motherfucker, you've been shot, man. Here you go. You never just got some bad news, you've been shot. She taking that shot to the chest pretty well. It's like it was a paintball gun or something. Didn't the girl just run to her mum? How does he get there before her when he's walking so slowly? She definitely would have seen his face. Wait, how's he not getting caught by the feds? They were outside and now the sirens are on like it's for them. So how has he got time to just jam like that? You said she was on holiday. What are you, man? Fuck, 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 what the fuck, fuck is wrong with you, yo? Bro. Why is he switching on his boy like that? At least in films like Juice and Set It Off when it happens, there's some kind of reason. I get that he's upset with himself, but why is he pointing the gun like he want to shoot him? In the last few weeks, there's been a rise in armed robberies around the South East London area. The gang responsible are said to be targeting corner shops, post offices, and anywhere that has a sizable amount of cash on site. Mitch went AWOL after the first corner shop robbery. No, he didn't. AWOL means 
absent without official leave. And Mitch officially left. He announced it. He walked out the room, everything. So what are you talking about? And you're supposed to be a policeman. Use these terms properly. As for me, Woods and the Angel, we just carried on. Guns is fully an accomplice at this point. Wait, hold on. Why is he undercover for these nobodies that are just starting out in the game? Can't have been for weed selling. If he is there from the gang's crime spree inception, then he is more part of it than the rest of them. Mitch sells weed and Gunn seems to be uninterested. And he does say, oh, are we going to get back into the dope game or whatever, but he never tries hard enough to get them on it or to look into it. Hoods was possessed with the greed. He had us doing robberies every single day. So wait, this has been covered on the news, has been happening a lot in the area, but he's still doing it every day and killing people. And my man is just there with them every day. Get out of here, man. Whatever he needs to convict them for, murder is enough. Before I met these guys, I'd never seen no one get shot before. Jeremy Carlton, look, there's a million pound in cash in debt, yeah? That's one more fucking you ain't got to share the money with. Fuck me. Fam, where the fuck did you get that information from? Come on the road, you know me. Nah, blood, you need to explain that shit. I mean, can't just be like, oh, you know, I just heard from the road that this guy keeps a million in there and I know it's definite because uh, I heard from the road. Nah, don't try and just hand wave your little plot contrivances, okay? Where the, f the fuck they get these guns from? Look, boy, we're gonna hit the middle bit deep. Hit the office. Where's the office? I think it's in the right or something. And why are they making plans right before they do the thing? <laughs> these deaf motherfuckers can't hear multiple shotgun shots in the next room. And why they got so much money out? You ain't got no safe or nothing? Are you man cut? Mill and a half. Mill and a half! need a fucking name for this team. Why do you need a name? How old are you? TIC. <laughs> Thieves in the community, bro. Where that fucking Robin Hood that. Thieves in the community. What kind of self snitching name is that? Plus, have some ambition. Don't you want to be thieves in other communities too? <laughs> so, how are they looking to spend this money? Dealership with cash, yeah? New Yard with cash, yeah? Holiday with cash, yeah? Enjoy spending that a thousand at a time. So all that murder, yeah, and this guy's just still chilling undercover. They even shoot up the place and find all that coke, but he never tells the feds about that dude. He must be the one supplier that they're looking for. Look, I'm sorry for the times I had the feds in the yard, mama. I was young, I was reckless. Growing up too fast, mama. Just trying to get what? Trying to put people... Okay, all right. I will acknowledge the fact that they do show him going into the dealership and privately showing the guy the cash. So clearly they're doing it some kind of back-end deal. So um, that's fair enough. However, I don't think a dealership would be selling a car with no paper trail to some rando with a bag of... What? What is that? Is that paper? Yeah, that looks like paper to me. Like paper with money printed on it. Now that guy definitely got robbed. In the pot now, man. I spend G's on the watch. Man, I make P's when I floss foot down in the foreign of the cut. Nine months and not one fucking big name. I bring you people week in and week out. It's you that keeps moving the goalposts. What? Some ten pound street peddler? Really? What the fuck am I paying you for? Stop having a wank over me and bring me some results. Me, what I did lick down a blood clot in you. You've got six weeks. Six weeks to bring me the name of the main supplier of coke and weed in South East London and the crew responsible for the armed robberies. Do you fucking hear me? And why have you not been wearing your wire? If you take a shit, you wear your wire. And here's the money you've been asking for. Why is she giving him cash? I'd like to pray for my friends. I'd like to pray that at the moment they're still trapped in the world, that you will bring them closer to you. I would like to pray for that at the moment they are still trapped in a world that you will bring them closer to you. What? 
What the fuck kind of sentence is that? He been burning man's shirt, but it's still fresh and white. Okay. Why is he burning his vest and not his skin anyway? Like, I get it. Either way, it would hurt and you probably would get skin melting on the iron, but I really don't think that that's his concern. Hey, what you do for me? Go and check out that parcel and make sure everything's there, please. Yeah, cool. Yeah? Wearing a fur coat inside is not gangster. It's all legit, my brother. Brother, who's talking to you? No. What's to stop me from blowing out both of you man's brains right now? I just take an autograph. That's not how we do business now, is it, brother? Ah, uh, mate, listen, that's the second time you've interrupted me. He didn't interrupt you once, bro. He clearly waited for you to finish your sentence before he spoke. Ah. Cool. Ah! Ah! Wait, hold on. This guy was just chilling nice and quiet whilst they were talking. And don't say he passed out from the pain because he was screaming until he was given a recess. So he was just politely sleeping after he'd just been burnt up without screaming for help or nothing. What a polite little torture victim. And Guns definitely has to call this in. And if he's looking for whoever is running the drugs thing in the area, how comes he's come across two of them now? Two big drug dealers and he hasn't said nothing. Now you can't say it's because he's in too deep because he technically only has to snitch on them and not his own gang. Who, might I add, have enough money to leave the game now? They are rich. And I ain't gonna lie, some people in this scene are um, method acting, if you know what I mean. Hoods confused me. He had his evil tendencies, but did anything to protect those he considered as family. I crossed the bridge from friendship to family. And what about Mitch? Wasn't he family too? And just how did you infiltrate this group and become his best friend? You must have done some mad shit that we didn't see to become his most trusted ally. Imagine some dude being undercover for 9 months and becoming your right hand man. Shit, that's like getting married after 9 months. Which some people do. And I think it's crazy. See that little block there fam? We should live there still. Now man's in a fucking penthouse fam. How did you get this penthouse? Cash, yeah? These times they're just on some random roof somewhere, like, talk about penthouse. I can see the surroundings, dude. You ain't in nobody's pent nothing. See, by the time I'm done, bro, we're gonna have all of this, fam. A whole fucking thing, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? You're gonna have all of what? London? Mm, yeah, you sound as if you plan to put the ends on lock by selling drugs or something But seeing as that isn't your plan, you must be talking about buying real estate or some shit And you ain't gonna get to buy all or nothing, you idiot You can't even put your money in a bank And London is not for sale, you donut Bro, if a motherfucker can get that close to you before you put out your weaponless hand to stop them, then you are pointless. Because if these men had guns on them, you would all be dead. What a lovely German motor. I've been in the motor business all my life. Oh no, it's Shank all over again. Some cockney guy that loves to make speeches. Guy Ritchie, what have you done to these filmmakers? Why can't they write any other type of bad guy? It's either a Cockney or Jamaican dude who loves to talk. So they're still robbing corner shops in the ends? So why do we keep seeing them with lots of money? Why do they have a penthouse? What do you need this money for? How can guns still be robbing with them? This shop barely has stock. It has empty shelves and they try, <laughs> they try to spread out the Pringles and celebrations to fill up the shelves. Come on production team, you can do better. What kind of parking is this? Don't try say he don't care. Man fully hanging his fancy new car out in the road. So either this was the only way to get the shot or 
He can't park quick enough. Come on, Scorcher, you can do better. Who's gonna pay you money to drive around in a car like that? You know what, I came here to give this to you, you know. Can't take that. Hey, do you know what? I'm gonna leave that money there, innit? If you want it, you can have it, innit? I had high hopes for you, Dwayne. You can get all the dirty money you like. But you're still gonna be a failure. Mum is rude. Close the door on your way out. So you can see he still has the money in his hand and he did not leave it with her in the end. Keep that in mind. Why were you fucking doing? You were up. How about the drugs? The dough? You keep it. All of it. That sounds like a dough. What's the point of having this dude pop up like some kind of adversary just to have him dealt with easily? When they got big, big Freddy Krueger and then this let man just handle him like it's nothing. What happened to this big speech that he's giving and setting him up like he's going to be a problem for them? Man's out the game already. This was light work. They could have just went to him in the first place and avoid all of that, robbing the whole place, shooting all those other guys. This lady has about as much passion as the one that got shot in the shop. She doesn't sound like she cares that much at all. Please, please, will somebody help me? Oh, oh no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's right if you're busy. Uh, it's, it's okay. Look, stop so these two the take a trip to Birmingham to link these two girls. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Come and go. D. Got 20 minutes, man. I'm on license. I'm gone without you. In what car, fam? 20 minutes to do what? Aren't you in Birmingham? Will this make you stay ashamed? Man just standing there staring like some creep. Man grab something. Big man, you man are on some funny thing, bruv. Girls are right there in front of you, half naked, and you're just sitting there eyeing them up. Could have stayed at home and watched porn. You know, I say girl in front of your brethren. Like, my man's been in jail for all this time, and the first thing he does when he sees girl is just stare at her. Like, dude, <laughs> like, you ain't got time for this. Plus, I thought you was in a rush. I uh, sit down there, I'll look on them. Hurry up, man. Yo, D, I swear that was your boy. Fam, what are you talking about? Just wait till we get on the motorway, bruv. Did wait until you get on the motorway to what? All he said was, I swear that's your boy. Did you see? That was guns. Are you trying to say man roll with feds now? Blood, I swear down, that was guns. And that's it. They never went to check or nothing. They just carried on on the motorway. Um, I'm guessing they're trying to say they was in a rush or something because that guy's trying to rush to get back. But like... Literally, if he was so adamant about it, he would have just said, look, turn around and make sure. I mean, that would be more important than anything at this point. Why the hell is Gunn some beat cop? Isn't he an undercover detective? Why is he doing stop and search in his spare time? <laughs> Man doing some overtime shifts. <laughs> like coming from his undercover, you go, oh, oh, boss, I need, some, uh, I need some overtime. What you got for me? Oh, you could just walk the streets harassing people and do a stop and search if you want you know after you finish your full-time commitment to being undercover in london pop down to birmingham and you just walk the beat who's this it's my brother so she's just coincidentally looking at this pic and talking about him right before he shows up just so we know who he is to her Yo, yo. Who let him in the house? Walk yeah, on. Bro. I'm good. These are my girls. Yeah. This is Naima. Right. <laughs> this is my friend I was telling you about. His mum was killed. What? <laughs> Who introduces her friend like that? Imagine your friend introduces you using your most traumatic life experience. Uh, yeah, this is my friend Henry. You know, the one whose mum died in a car crash. <laughs> 
this this is my friend Cecilia, you know, the one who's got AIDS. <laughs> it's like the fuck you why are you introducing me with that kind of shit? Like I mean you could use something that's like you know, like a, a good experience at least. Some money for your mum. You still got the money that you gave us from last week. It is okay. Oh what take some more, mum. Tell me I'm gonna be back on Sunday for dinner, yeah? What? Wait. Didn't he leave the house with the money that last time? You trying to tell me she took it in the end and she cool with him now? And he came all the way to his sister's uni or some shit to give it to her instead of just giving it to the mum on Sunday. This guy's got time on his hand. If the sister's staying at uni, like there's a chance that she lives far away. Why has he, he gone far to go all the way to a uni? I mean, she don't have to be that far away, okay? She, she may have just gone to a, a, another uni, another part of London or something and maybe still stayed out, but like... She's moved out of the house to go to a, a different uni. So I'm just gonna assume that uni's far away. And he's driven all the way up there to hand her some cash to give to the mum, even though he's gonna see the mum on Sunday. What kind of bullshit is that? A little sample still. This thing's all right. Negro, if you don't get those gum sucking fingers away from me, bro, we gonna have a problem. This is nasty. Man was just sucking, sucking off those fingers and now man's deliberately wiping them in my hand. Yo, nigga, we cousins, but we ain't that close. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. You're in. Running into post offices, robbing shit, fam. Like, how long can man do this for, fam? Are you still running into post offices and robbing shit? Didn't you lot have a meal, something to split? Including all that other money you made from previous robberies and selling all that coke? If you can dash away money all over the place, surely you can stop doing that basic shit and invest or something, or at least run shit from behind the scenes. You smoking rocks or something? Trying to rob me, yeah? You're my cousin, fam. We're family, you know? Just know what you're doing, innit? Family! What an amazing performance. Family! <laughs> Who the hell struggles for a gun whilst holding it towards themselves? Literally the main point of the struggle is to move the gun away from where you are. And you cannot convince me that this guy has got enough power to stop this guy from moving his arm out the way. Officer Lee Biggins, I need ambulance and backup now. Hey Mitch. Hey Mitch. Hoods, leave it, man. Oh, no, no, no. Where you been, bro? Why is everyone trying to stop him? He hasn't had no beef with Mitch about this shit yet. If you was about danger, you won't even fucking be dead right now. What would Mitch have been doing to stop any of this? I don't even need to explain that. Where's the money? You ain't got no money. I said you're on a move to get some money and you ain't come back with no money. Fed shot me in my arm. Fed? Are you mad? Who kills their own cousin anyway? You told me. Black, we're family! Family! Family, yeah? Call me a cousin, man. Please! Sophie, are you fucking mad? What are you doing in here? Hello to you two. It's a club. You're fucking in it, actually. It's a fucking club. Uh, excuse me, don't talk to me like that. You can't hear what he's saying from where you was. I'm not gonna be able to join myself knowing that he's here anyway. So you know what? You can stay. I'm gonna catch a cab home because I've got work in the morning and I can't deal with it. So, like, when girls go out clubbing, they don't even go to the damn bathroom by themselves. So there's just two girls and they go out, she's the brother, and basically the brother makes her upset, so she leaves. But then her friend stays in the club. Like, why is she staying in the club? She by herself. Like, could have at least gave her some other friends, like, to just say, like, you know, oh, I'm with my other uni friends or whatever. Like, even if she wasn't, like, close to them, it could have been like, oh, just stay with blah, blah, blah. And then at least we'd know why she's there. But... They both left one person alone. So a girl wouldn't let her friend go home by herself. And then she wouldn't also... And then, see, a girl wouldn't let her friend go home by herself. And a girl also wouldn't let her friend stay in the club by herself. It's very, like, unrealistic. I wonder why this is happening. Oh, wait, did he just randomly get left alone too? Hmm. Fucking talking to you, so listen. What? Who the blood class here chat to me? I box her down like her mother. What am to her? 
Well, look her down like her mum. Or just like a... No comment. Why is she trying to argue with him anyway? She doesn't know him. Like, she's got minor business and minor manners, man. Oh, one of those dark and unattended toilets with no other people in there in the middle of the club. Yeah, you know those. You know those. Fuck off. Don't worry about me. Ain't gonna lie, man. Slightly a bit jealous, you know. Can't lie. So, she wakes up in his yard the next day and finds the mask that he used when he shot her mum. And she recognises it, obviously. So he barely tries to hide that shit. Just easily found if his yard gets raided. And so she goes to the police station to tell them her new information. I have reason to believe that you may have some more information on the robberies and the death of your mum. Oh, really? Do you? You have reason to believe that. Maybe it's the fact that I came here, told the police, and they came and set up this meeting between me and you in the first place, and that's the reason why we're here? Talking about you got reason to believe. <laughs> the kid. A guy named Hoods. Hoods. Part of the TIC gang. But you also know his real name, and you shouldn't assume she knows what gang he's in. This has nothing to do with anything. Have you ever seen him with any of these individuals? Yes, that idiot took his mask off. Wait, doesn't she have CCTV or something? I'm sure they didn't take anything, so they should be able to see that it was him. As a lot of you know, in the past, I was involved in crime. Involved? Well, you know you can do another take, yeah? I mean, you're literally the director. I was a criminal. You look way too happy about that, bro. You look like you're saying it with some kind of happiness. You don't look like you've got remorse. My friends and I were consumed by the desire of wanting what's not ours. So why did he change how he dresses and speaks too? I mean, I get that his outlook on life has changed, but now he's just like a, a whole new person. And I mean, I get that that might be what you're going for, but like, this happened over a couple of weeks. Was well, something. We have no weapon which ties him to the incident you're referring to. All you have is a mask. So why don't you do us all a favour and stop wasting our time and let my client go? If you found the money and masked, you can definitely find text messages, weapons, DNA or something. These guys have been doing messy murders all over this bitch. It's okay. You can be a smart ass. But we found a million in cash. And we'll be holding on to that until you can tell us how you came about this money. He's still got a mill. So why is he still doing crime? This close to bring down the whole operation. You fuckers come and arrest us two days before we plan to do our biggest robbery. Um, fuck off. You done broke the law a hundred times already. We ain't even got the gun that killed Miss Anne. Does that even matter at this point? You was there. The mask was found in the house. Mitch will snitch. You can all say that you was there at the time. Mitch even took his mask off. Plus, you men have killed like a hundred other people, sold big drugs and have lots of guns. Hasn't he also been wearing a wire sometimes too? I mean, how much information do you need? And Hoods is just about to bring him to the new base where he keeps all the firearms because of you fuckers, no base, no firearms. Look, okay, without your evidence, we don't have anything. We're going to have to let them all go. You've got one more month to wrap up this case, otherwise your job and my job are over. Someone's got to do time for Miss Anne's murder. Why is this about murder all of a sudden? He was undercover before that even happened. He is meant to be looking for a big drug dealer or something, but now it's a whole new case, which he has been a part of from the start. He knows everything about that murder. Literally, a policeman was on site at the time the murder occurred. So, so now, if the murder trumps the whole drug dealing thing, then Scorcher should be put in jail already because it doesn't matter, they can find a drug dealer some other way, but murder, he needs to go and get put away now. 
likely to become more like a brother to me. But as an officer, I had an obligation to enforce the law. Or do I? Yes. Yes, you do. Didn't you sign some kind of oath or something? Not doing injustice. We shall surely live. We shall not die. Stupid face, Mooney. Can't bring back the dead. Definitely can't bring back Miss Anne. Y yes, you covered that when you said can't bring back the dead. Why did you say definitely about her only like the rest of them aren't also definitely unable to be brought back to life? Even if you had a way to bring corpses back to life, she would be one of the easier ones because at least you didn't blow her head off like some of the other ones. See, this is what happens when you try to write dialogue, but you don't think about if it makes any sense. Like, stop just saying stuff for the sake of it, man. Do you think I'll go to jail? I'm going to make sure you don't. Ask you, God, you might reveal something to you about me. Look, fuck that, look. We can lick the fucking big loan shot on Mare Street. Mad. <laughs> I'm on it. Of course. The last time I scoped the place, they got new security, new cameras, billards, so one way ticket to jail hoods. Smith, if we just go link up with them clapping. This brother's lost his fucking mind. Okay, and then Hoods decides to link up with that other gang to do a big move that will get him some money seeing as his money is currently being seized by the police he knows that undercovers have been watching him and he does all of this crime in the same ends all the time so he will need a super alibi and he still thinks he can rob a highly secure place just because he has more manpower he also plans to take out the other gang once he's got the money but he knows that his gang is currently weaker than this so what kind of planning is this is this supposed to be you guys master planner? Because he's just planning to get you lot to jail. I mean, that's the only plan. That's what it looks like. Hey, you saying you really trust these brothers, fam? You mad. Come on, we're going to go in there, do the move, eat our money, then we wrap them up after. That's why I love you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, I Then Guns delivers a brief and has an asthma attack at the same time. Hello, officers. At approximately 2 p.m. tomorrow, the TIC crew and the Clappers crew will be executing their biggest job to date. You will not arrest any suspects until the robbery has been completed and both crews have left the building. Is that clear? Wait, hold on. You're giving orders now? I thought you were some stop and search guy just like 10 minutes ago. Man needs to decide if he's a detective or just a beat cop. So they go to rob the loan shop by joining with a rival gang. But why? They are robbing local places. He is going out in the same bait mask with no alibi. He's not known for superior planning. So even if he has been doing successful robberies, because we never see him plan them out, we don't even know why they even need him to do it in the first place. And if they've been killing people on most of their robberies, then why would the police even let them get any further than out the damn van? where they have probably the murder weapons and evidence from previous murders and robberies. These men are fully in cash converters trying to do a big job to split between bare people. <laughs> but what, what happened to the security guns was talking about? Turns out the way to bypass all of that is just by walking through the front door casually. Oh no, not whoever this lady is. Why are we ending on her like she's important to the story? The fuck kind of music is this? Why are you asking? You know the plan. Just split the money and stop setting up his lines. So Hoods betrays them and Captain Conan well, come out man. and they have a standoff. Well, Hoods, put the guns down, fam. Oh, fuck that, look, whatever my man's paying you, I'll pay you double. Fam. How is that gonna work? If they're gonna do that, then they might as well take all the money for themselves. Man said double. These times his life is on the line. You better be giving up all that money, bro. You ain't even got no money to give. 
The only money that you have is this money here. What do you mean pay them? Or they just rob you and they take all of it. <laughs> These times as well, they're here on a revenge mission. They ain't really doing it for the money. So what are you talking about, you donut? Okay, guys. We have now reached the climax of the film. We are nearly done. This should be our most dramatic scene of them all. As the director, it's my job to get the performances out of you. So, you are about to confess to being an undercover. Guns are drawn. Police are surrounding the building. Adrenaline is pumping. Any of you could die at any minute. And you're about to reveal something that will make your best friend hoods very confused and upset. I know that many other directors would tell you to take this all into account. And let it bleed through your performance. But hear me out. Hear me out. What if you did it like you just woke up and someone asked you if you want eggs or cereal? My name's obviously Lee Biggins. What are you talking about? Brother, right I'm a police officer, fam. have been working on the cop for the last two years. Nailed it. Oh, you nailed it. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. I told you I'd catch you on a rebound. Huh? Pussy. These police let a lot happen before they intervene. I don't even know why they would let them into the shop in the first place. Why they wait till people get shot to show up and why they have let all this continue for so long. Terrible police. What you doing, huh? Stupid boy, what have I told you about touching my gun, huh? Come here. If you had to tell him once, you'd need to be putting it in a safer place. A gun is not a tie. And what kind of accent was that? Dude sounds like he's from Jabajan Asia. Play with this instead, all right? Wow. He just likes to twirl things around in his hand. Man's dad buy him toys, a PlayStation or something. Um, yeah, and that's the intent. That's a piece of crap. Why do some of you like this film? I mean, I know not all of you do, and I. Pretty sure there's more that don't than do, but like, why do some of you even like this? Are you not that starved for some British urban nonsense that you'll just take anything that comes? You can compare this to something like Top Boy. You can see the difference in in quality, even in just the writing, even the even the not so good sort of Top Boy episodes still have like some level of quality and make some kind of sense compared to this this nonsense to literally like some kind of student level of film with a budget that's what this comes across as and i don't like it so i don't really have much to say about this film other than it's got a poor script the directing is poor um some of the acting is quite fine actually some of them don't do actually a bad job but it just feels like everyone's kind of playing something that's very familiar to them uh, we do have some performances that's not great I would say probably like the police lady and and uh, Mitch but that's just normal um, yeah just not really oh and when the directors are acting that's when he, that's when it's them man, them man need to sort themselves out, man, because why? I don't know what's going on with them lot. So, yeah, don't, yeah, I don't, I don't recommend this film. It's not even got the charm. I mean, there's worse, there are worse films. Like the one that came after this, <laughs> like the sequel, prequel. There are worse, so it can get worse. It does get worse. And we'll be looking at that one soon, too. But anyway, in the meantime, hope you enjoyed it. You know, all of that stuff that I never usually say or whatever. Well, do I say it sometimes? Like, share, subscribe. Do all the things that you do when you go onto a YouTube channel. You know, just take me seriously, man. Like, share, and subscribe. What, what do you mean you're not? Like, share, and subscribe. What are you doing? Big love.